Hey guys, Coin Bureau, a popular crypto blogger, often points out the regulation of the crypto market. World Economic Forum reports regarding the future and the plans of the global elite for the blockchain technology. In this video, I will break down the facts and observations of why Bitcoin could be worth zero dollars and whether this was the last cycle of the crypto market. Also, will Bitcoin survive till the next halving? Bitcoin has an emission of 21 million coins. To date, 19.3 million or 92% of the issue have been mined. But few people noticed that 15 million Bitcoins or 70% of all coins were mined in the first seven years. Of course, this was not done by random people. To prove this, here is an example. The world's first and oldest Bitcoin mining pool has mined nearly 1.3 million BTC since inception. The pool alone received 6% of all Bitcoin issuance. Yes, the pool is made up of many people, but a huge chunk of all the coins were taken by a small fraction of the miners. Random miners were selling their coins for nothing because the reward per block was as much as 50 Bitcoins back then and mining was very profitable. At the same time, there was a group of people who understood the prospects of Bitcoin. So they mined and bought back cheap coins in order to sell them thousands of times more expensive later. The first 15 million Bitcoins mined represent 80% of the current coins in circulation. That's a sufficient figure to manipulate the asset. Mining is a business, and a business has to be profitable to function. At current prices, miners are making a loss. Bitcoin is risky as it is, but the risks of a mining ban and rising electricity costs are also on top of that. The value of Bitcoin is dropping. The rewards for mining will shrink in a year, and the complexity is growing. Even now, miners are selling accumulated Bitcoins to cover operating costs. If industrial mining dies, local miners will remain. The network will work, but it will no longer be secure. Bitcoin's current capitalization is $425 billion, and it used to be $1 trillion. The capitalization of gold is $10 trillion. However, gold has been mined for a long time, and Bitcoin has only been mined since 2009. And perhaps the end of Bitcoin is near. Let's figure it out. Here's another reason why this cycle may be the last one. Bitcoin has been sideways for a very long time in 2021. They kept it above $30,000 for 500 days and sold it to everyone. The Fed was printing money and large holders were selling their coins for 50 to 60,000 to new market participants. Before that, the high cycle ended very quickly and abruptly, and then everyone was given to buy several times. It looks suspicious. The big players were selling off their coins for a long time. Perhaps they will continue to sell their savings indefinitely as long as people believe Bitcoin will make a new high. So in what case would I consider this to be the last cycle? Mind how the market was brought back during the COVID-19 crisis. The price plummeted to $4,000 and it was immediately brought back, preventing regular people from buying BTC at a low price. If Bitcoin falls below $10,000 in this cycle on a negative event and is not bought back quickly, that would be a bad signal. In that case, I would consider this pyramid is finally being drained just by the early BTC miners. If people buy back the market and the price doesn't surge, this means that the same volume of Bitcoins is being sold by someone large. And who has such a huge volume? Only the early miners. And why would they sell so cheap? Because this pyramid scheme is outdated and no one else would benefit from pumping Bitcoin. I emphasize that I will come to that conclusion only if a strong drop below $10,000 is weakly repaid. In case this is not the last cycle, then after such a wild giveaway in 2021, the big whales should accumulate their coins again and calm the market down. Only after a couple of years of a boring sideways market when the whales buy up, then the next cycle will begin. But not tomorrow or even this year. But that's not all. Let's take a look at the data the Coin Bureau found. The green agenda, ecology, and market regulation are what the global elite are paying attention to. In their video, the Coin Bureau breaks down the global crisis report from the World Economic Forum. One important point is the energy crisis, which is causing inflation and needs to be addressed immediately. Bitcoin is not environmentally friendly. At the time of this video, the entire Bitcoin network consumes 102 terawatt hours per year. Annualized total Bitcoin footprints is comparable to the carbon footprint of Libya and the power consumption of Kazakhstan. 
and a single Bitcoin transaction footprint is equivalent to the power consumption of an average U.S. household over a month. If you look at cryptocurrencies related to the World Economic Forum, you will see that they are the most environmentally friendly assets, such as Hedera and Algorand. By the way, I advise you to check out what assets the world leaders are betting on in our video. Ethereum switched from mining to the much greener proof-of-stake model for the same reason. Mining has already been banned in many countries, and there is a risk of a ban in those countries where the miners move to. All this makes the Bitcoin model unsustainable. What's more, every four years, the Bitcoin network goes through a halving process. This is a process that halves the reward per block. If in 2010 a miner was getting 50 BTC per mine block, in 2024 he will only get 3.12 BTC. This means that the energy consumption will only increase with each halving. The Coin Bureau also pointed out that regulators have begun to hunt the crypto market, including Bitcoin. Influencer called it Operation Choke Point 2.0. I'll summarize the main points and risks for Bitcoin. The US government is using the banking sector to organize a sophisticated widespread crackdown against the crypto industry. And the administration's efforts are no secret. They're expressed plainly in memos, regulatory guidance, and blog posts. All crypto assets are at the risk of regulation. Even Bitcoin, which can be classified as a commodity rather than a security. Even if everything but Bitcoin is regulated, it won't be left alone. The government will allow centralized stablecoin or issue a CBDC, but there is no place for Bitcoin. Coinbase's new Layer 2 network, BASE, could launch with anti-money laundering and KYC measures for users, Chief Executive Brian Armstrong hinted in a recent interview. It's a hint in what awaits other blockchains in the event of a total regulation. And so, I've shared my thoughts on why I think this could be the last cycle and Bitcoin won't grow again. First, the early miners accumulated Bitcoins for pennies and sold us 40 to 60k. Second, mining is no longer profitable and puts the Bitcoin network at risk. And third, regulation and the energy crisis play against Bitcoin. But these are just my thoughts and assumptions. Globally, I believe in cryptocurrency, but I can't turn a blind eye to the obvious risks, and I suggest you do the same. Thanks for watching your CoinPost.